This is the top of the line Thule Chariot Cross bike trailer from Amazon for about $1,000. Here is everything you need to know about this bike trailer and a few things that I don't really like about it. The first thing we have to talk about is the stroller feature on this trailer. It has massive 20 inch wheels that make it an excellent stroller, very smooth. And many trailers don't come with two front wheels and they swivel. So it's a very good stroller. It's very comfortable and easy to get over rough terrain, rocks, sidewalks, and things like that. When you do turn it into a bike trailer, all you have to do is remove these wheels and then put them upside down. It also has this very large handlebar up here and you can adjust the height on that. This thing uses a cover system that has zippers so it kind of zips down like that over that. It's a lot better than some of the cheaper models uh, that use kind of a plastic mesh canopy that just kind of folds over it and clips onto place. This thing is a lot more sturdy. The only thing I'm not liking about the zippers is I'm afraid that over time they might break. You know, if you have a zipper jacket or something, if the zipper breaks at all, it's very hard to fix on your own. So I'm just kind of concerned about that. I actually do prefer something like the Schwinn Joyrider bike trailer, which is more of a cage, a massive metal cage that just kind of flops over it. And that's very protective. I'm not worried at all if that breaks or anything like that. If we turn the trailer around, the back is actually really cool. You have this option to put this thing down here and it's actually a massive uh, pannier, bike pannier for anything you need to store in there. And you can just open it like that and you can store anything you need for the kids or for the ride. It's pretty awesome. And as you can see, it also has storage back here. So lots of storage on this thing for sure, which makes it a really good bike trailer for grocery shopping with the kids. The seats on this bike trailer are very comfortable for a bike trailer. Many trailers use a hammock style, so it kind of sinks in the middle. If you have two kids in it, it's pretty uncomfortable. This is a bench style, so it's very sturdy. It has even has padding, which is pretty rare in bike trailers. It's a five point harness for the seat belt has these paddings here very nice it looks great really excellent and they do have plenty of space it does have a foot brake here which is very easy to use you just press it down and you can leave the bike trailer there if it's a stroller or a bike trailer one of the main features of this trailer that we have to talk about is this suspension feature this is something that really makes this a high-end top-of-the-line trailer that you don't find on many other trailers at all and this is why it's a really good trailer for all-terrain riding, for families that like doing mountain riding, gravel riding, you know, that kind of thing. And it really makes it a much more smoother experience for strolling or for bike riding. And you can actually adjust, adjust how much suspension it has by moving that lever there. To fold the trailer up for storage, you just push these buttons here and it'll fold up nicely. The main thing I couldn't figure out how to do is actually how to put the wheels on and remove them. There's this blue button here. You just push it and it comes off like that <laughs> while you hold it. I couldn't figure it out. You push it and then put it back on. Like that. Easy. This is the arm hitch that comes with this bike trailer. The trailer has these little holes right here on the sides that you can insert the arm into. It actually has a hole on both sides so you can actually decide which side of the bike, the rear wheel of the bike that you want to have this arm attached to. You just put it in like that. You have to lift this blue thing to make sure it goes in all the way and let go. This is a nice touch that I think a lot of people don't know is that you can attach this thing here when you're not using it as a trailer. If you're using it as a stroller, you can just keep it right there when you're using it as a stroller. So the good news about the Thule bike trailer is that it's going to come with everything out of the box that you need, which is the coupler system. This is a really sturdy steel coupler that attaches to the rear wheel of the bike. And it also comes with a quick release skewer out of the box that's really going to help you attach to your bike trailer. The only issue that you might come across is if you have a disc brake bike and a through axle of 12 millimeters in diameter, the through axle bike, which I have, is actually not going to fit through this hole in this coupler system. So I actually have to go out and get a adapter that's going to fit the through axle for the bike trailer. I'll put a link in the description so you can get that from Amazon. So I'm going to use a different bike that uses a quick release so I can show you how this is done. 
The Thule bike trailer uses this ball system that lets the bike trailer move around while you're riding. Some other neat things that come with this bike trailer are this flag. A flag is really a good touch for safety reasons. Personally, I don't use a flag all the time because mostly I only ride on bike trail paths and on sidewalks. And in those cases, I'm not really concerned about cars seeing the bike trail or anything like that. But if you're riding anywhere near cars at all, if you're in a city, if you are going riding on the road, side of the road, use a flag. For sure and then the other thing that it comes with is this light which is a really cool touch definitely use this if you're riding during later at night in the evening or even during the, during the day if you're riding near cars at all you really want to be seen by people with this kind of light now with all that being said there's really no reason to dislike this trailer at all but there are two things that I don't particularly like about this trailer that would actually give me some reservation when I'm recommending it to someone. Number one being that it is expensive. It's really top of the line, high end trailer. For about $1,000 you can get it on Amazon. And in my opinion, you can get a lot of the features that, are, that exist on this trailer for about 350 bucks. For example, with the Schwinn Joy Rider, it's a stroller, it's protective, it's safe, it's large, it's about the same weight as this trailer and it has the main features that, is, that are there except for the suspension and it has one wheel on the front as opposed to two. But if you're looking for the best of the best trailer that's out there, top of the line, and you really wanna do all kinds of riding like mountain riding or gravel riding or you know anything at all, this is a really good option, no doubt about it. And the second thing that I don't particularly like about this trailer is that it was so hard for me to assemble it. I can't tell you how frustrated I got. I couldn't figure it out. And being myself, I, I tried not to use the instructions mainly because I just wanted to figure it out by myself and, and see how easy it is actually to understand it and to intuitively know how to set it up. I couldn't figure it out at all. And the main thing I couldn't figure out is how to open it, first of all, how to open the frame and, and, and take it out, and then how to put the wheels on. I couldn't do it. So I looked at the, at the instructions and I pretty soon figured out how to do it. But if you're someone that really wants something that's simple, easy to set up, easy to get going, maybe this isn't the best option because it does come with a ton of attachments, which also is a nice touch to have so many attachments that come with the trailer out of the box. But at the same time, it's a bit overwhelming. And for me, it was kind of too much. So overall, would I recommend the Thule Chariot Christ trailer to someone? Absolutely, yes, heck yes. It is an excellent trailer, best of the best, top of the line. If you have a budget and you are particularly riding on more rough terrain as a family. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing for more videos about riding with kids.